He turned his life around after a near-fatal accident and now has his sights set on Mount Midoriyama. This is your year. Come on, Josh O'Sullivan. When I was 18, I had an accident uh, when I was at martial arts training. So I was doing jiu-jitsu and um, I copped a knock to the head. Then that forced me into an uh, induced coma. So I was in a coma for about three weeks. I had to learn all my uh, basic motor skills, walking, talking, eating, all those sorts of things. They all had to come back. Life changes a lot, spending that amount of time in hospital. So I had to kind of really pull myself out of a dark place. Yeah, I reevaluated everything and what things mean to me. Three, two, one, jump. I'm alive. I can enjoy all these things again. <laughs> Living this journey with Betsy being able to do ninja together, motivate each other, pursuing our dreams, and what's all fun, it's been really good. I focused all of my energy on getting to the top of Mount Midoriyama. It's definitely at the top of my list. Australia, you wanted a winner, and I'm here to show you it can be done. We made the semi-final in the first season, the final stage one in season two, and here he is, season three, with all the pressure in the world on his shoulders. He's already seen his girlfriend, Betsy, miss out on the semis. She came off on the double squirrels. Josh has to make sure that he doesn't meet the same fate. Here he goes, just taking his time on the floating steps, using both feet, not wanting to make a mistake. Through the first obstacle. Now the butterfly wall. Take the right up. He'll have no problems with the jump here. Lands it, and now to the rope. Joshua Sullivan straight through the butterfly wall. Now the deadly tuning fork. So many ninjas falling on this obstacle. There he goes, look at that. Didn't even move him. Perfect footwork. And that's exactly how the tuning fork should be done. Have a look at him on the rolling steel. We know that he's got great upper body strength. Joshua Sullivan, this means everything to him. He's changed every aspect of his life for ninja. And is it going to pay off? Lock it in, lock it in. I can tell you he's flying through this course. He's 10 seconds quicker than Zed Colback to this point. He's focused, he's strong, and he's got his eyes on furthest, fastest. But this is where it all went wrong for Betsy. This is where he must get through to make the semi-final. Oh, oh, look at him. Get himself moving. Don't go too big, big fella. Just the dismount now. Makes it. Josh O'Sullivan books his place in the semi-final. And now let's look at the clock. Zed Colback did it in 2 minutes 17. Up the mega warp wall back. Look at that. He's got a little bit of time. He might squeeze in two shots, but he's not going to want to risk it. He's going to want to go up the mega warp wall on his first attempt. Can we have a record-breaking fifth ninja up the mega warp wall tonight? First try, Josh O'Sullivan, we're all behind you. Five oh, grand yes, he's done it! And he won it's it! It's a mega warp oh, How good was that? So fabulous! Betsy Burnett, the girlfriend on the sideline. Oh, she's just as happy. Josh O'Sullivan is the fifth ninja on top of the mega warp wall tonight.